Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is this uh, my rendition of this stocking that I bought at an antique store or an antique mall and I recreated it and I thought what better way to you know show you guys how I <laughs> how I you know how I go about finding stuff and then remaking it. So this one's mine and this one's hers. Now I've I've come to notice that old older um pro yarn or like projects that I find and that I try recreate you can tell the difference in the yarn like the yarn here is thinner than the yarn I have now and so this one is a little mine is a little bit bigger not by too much it's a lot thicker and see how mine is bigger Okay, now I didn't put a pom-pom on there either. Um, you can definitely do that. It's no big deal. And then we're going to work the rounds of single crochet at the top and then our little hangers. So you're going to need a skein of, now I just used Red Heart Super Saver. I, I only had the jumbos, so I went with those. You don't need the jumbos, but I went with Cherry Red. Patty green and white. So you're going to need one skein of each of those. A five and a half millimeter crochet hook. A pair of scissors and a needle to weave in your ends. And there are going to be a lot. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's get started. Get your supplies together and let's get started. Okay, to get started with our stocking squares, we are going to start with our red. Get a slip knot on our hook. Make sure you have enough tail to weave in. And we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch to that first chain to form a ring. Chain one, make sure you can get your finger in there. Tighten that first chain back up a little. All right, we're gonna work three doubles. Chain two, three doubles. One. Two. Three. Chain two. Three double crochet. chain two and we're going to repeat that until we have four chain twos because we need four corners so we have one there's two one two three chain two so there's one two three chain twos we need four so one more set one two and three chain two and there is our four chain twos so now we're going to slip stitch to that very first double and you can see it's kind of facing you slip stitch into there chain one pull up a loop and fasten that one off and we'll weave in these tails later okay so now we go straight to the green Now the green, we get a slip knot on our hook. Make sure your tail's long enough to weave in. And we're gonna attach into any of the chain twos. It doesn't matter which one we go into. Just slip stitch into that chain two. And then we're gonna chain one. Tighten that down and scoot it over. We're gonna work three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, all into this chain two space. So one, two, three, chain two, scooch, three double crochet, one, two, three, 
chain one. Now we come to the next chain two corner and we repeat that again. Three double crochet, chain two. Scooch it over, three double crochet right back in there. Chain one and we get to our next corner and we repeat three double crochet, chain two, scooch that over, three double crochet right back in there. Chain one. Now that reach gets us to our last chain two uh, corner and now we work our three double chain two scooch it over three double right back in there chain one and now we're back to our beginning so we slip stitch to the very first double crochet of the round chain one and pull up a loop and cut so that's the end of round two now we go straight to our white Get a slip knot on our hook. Make sure your tail is long enough to weave in. And then we're going to slip stitch to any chain two corner. It doesn't matter which one. So just slip stitch right in there. Chain one. Tighten that down. Scoot it over. Now we're going to work our corner. Chain three. Or I'm, I'm sorry. Chain one. We're going to work our corner. Three double crochet. Chain two. Three double crochet. Right back into this corner. One, two, and three. Chain two, scooch those over. Three double crochet right back in there. Chain one, three double crochet into the chain one space. One, two, and three chain one and we're to our corner which gets the three doubles chain two three doubles chain two scooch that over one two and three chain one three double crochet into the chain one space and then we work our corner or well Three doubles into the chain one space, chain one, work our corner, chain one, three doubles into the chain one space, chain one, work our corner, chain one, three double crochet into the last chain one space. So you guys work that around and I will meet you when we work, bleh, work the last double crochet into the chain one right here, okay? So we'll be right back. Okay, I've worked the last three double crochet into that chain one space. We're going to chain one slip stitch to the very first double crochet of our round chain one pull up a loop and cut okay that is the end of our little square now we even all these ends and uh i'll be right back okay i'm back and i've gotten all those ends weaved in now here's our pretty little square and you're gonna need 16 of these <laughs> 16 of those are going to, are going to make our stocking okay so once you get your 16 made come back here and we're going to start assembling these to make our little stocking so first what we're going to do is we're going to take two squares and we're going to take our white yarn And I think I'm going to slip stitch mine, but you are more than welcome. You can uh, um, sew these together with needle and thread. You can single crochet them together. It doesn't matter how, but we're going to start with taking two of our squares with the right sides facing up, meaning the double crochets are facing up and we're going to flip them on top of each other and we're going to uh, uh, slip stitch these squares closed 
right along that edge. Okay, so I'm just going to go straight first into, so like we have a chain two corner right here. Well, the chain two at the top is going to go with the stitches at the top. The chain two on the side is going to go with these stitches on the side. So the first stitch I'm going to go straight into is that sing or that chain on the lower side and the same chain on this side. I'm going to slip stitch right through both of them. I'm going to tighten that up, tighten that slip knot up. Okay, so now I'm just going to go stitch for stitch to in the back loop only, meaning the loop facing me, the, only the back loops. So this one right here and then this one right here that's facing up. I'm just going to slip stitch into the back loops only and into the chain two only or not not chain two I should say into the chain one also just that back loop on each one so what that does is leave uh, like a, a line on the front see that line it's leaving right there and on this side Those are the remaining loops that we didn't slip stitch into. Slip stitch into the next. I'm on my last double on this square, my last double on this square. And then I got that chain to work in, one chain to work into on each square. Perfect. Just like that. Okay. Actually, it goes like this, but we'll get that figured out later. All right, now what we're going to do is get two more of our squares with the right the right side facing up, so the double, the correct side of the double crochets are facing us. Flip that over, and we are going to go straight into... So we have the chain that goes to the top and the chain that goes for the bottom or the side in this case. We're going to go straight into that remaining chain that's for our side and slip stitch right into that and then start slip stitching down each double and to each chain back loop only. Okay, I'm on the chain on this one, and there's the chain for this one. So what we're making right now So here's the the front of the um the stocking. What we're making right now is this seam right here. And then we're going to stop, and then we're going to attach these three. Okay, so if we're holding our work, it's actually, you know, it's actually going to fold this way. Just like that. And then right here is where those go. Make sense? Okay. So get back out of there. I'm going to finish slip stitching down these stitches. I'm in the chain on this square and I'm into the chain on this square. Basically what I'm doing when I say that is making sure that I'm in the same spot on both squares. I didn't skip a stitch or anything like that. I'm into the last double and I'm into the last double on this square. So there's the chain. There's the chain on this square. Okay, so now I'm ready to attach attach um, my next set. Sorry about that, guys. I, I had to stop because my phone went dark and I couldn't figure out what was happening. It was, my phone was dying. <laughs> All right, so now I've got my 
Next set of squares out. Double crochets are facing up. I flip them over. Take that seam right here. And I'm going to skip the chain so that that chain can go for those top stitches right there and go into the next chain that are for this row. Back loop only. Oops. And slip stitch all the way down these. Back loop only of each stitch. Into that chain. Dang it. And into the chain, into the chain on this side. Last double, last double, and the chain. Okay, so I'm gonna just pull up a loop for now. Open these all up. And then we need to flip them so they're upside down and then fold them back so they're sandwiched. Just like that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a another square with the double crochets facing up and we're gonna flip it on top of this one, double crochets facing up, work a seam down this same one here, seam down here, same one here, seam down here, and then we're going to flip it open. Okay? So down here, I'm going to, where we just finished, I'm going to chain one and pull up a loop and cut. Okay? So I'm going to take my white, get a slip knot on my hook, the top of the stocking, I'm going to take my square with the two tops facing me, flip them on top of each other, and I'm going to start a seam right down here. So into that chain, into this chain with a slip stitch and then slip stitch straight down just like we have been, back loops only. into the chain all right now into the double I think I got both loops there And now into the chain. Back loop only. All right, so now I'm gonna slay it back the way it's supposed to go. Drop my hook, grab my next square with the double crochets facing me, double crochets facing me, lay it on top, and then just work straight into the next one. Leaving that chain for this side, I'm gonna go into this top chain, back loop, grab that square, into this chain and slip stitch into each back loop down this one 
Now right here is a slip stitch uh, to finish off the third round. Now, right before the slip stitch is the actual top of the stitch. So if you slide that slip stitch back, it, there's a little bitty heart that's the top of our stitch. You get in there with your back loop and then the back loop of this one. And then here's our chain one. And there's our chain one. And then do the chain one on this square. There's the chain one on this square. All right, last double crochet of this one. And the last double crochet of this one. And then I'm into that chain. And this chain. Okay, now I'm going to stop and lay that down, get my another square, double crochets facing me, double crochets facing me, lay it right on top, and work down. Skip the chain for this side of the square and go into the back loop of the chain for this side, and the same one on this side, and slip stitch. into that chain, back loops of the chain, back loop, All right, last double. I'm into that last chain and that chain. I'm gonna chain one and pull up a loop. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is unfold this and then we're gonna come back And we're gonna sew so like if we lay it straight up we just have three squares or three a three by three square right but what we need to do is sew the first edge to the last edge so this middle one is going to get folded in half a little so this is what it's going to look like when it's done but to slip stitch this up, we're going to do it inside out and then we'll flip it out. So fold them over and we're going to have right sides facing slip stitch down this right sides facing each other slip stitch down this right sides facing each other slip stitch down this. So I'm gonna let you guys do that off camera. Slip stitch all the way down this, just like we have all the other squares. And then we're gonna work the vertical lines, these little vertical seams. There's only two right here and right here. So work this long one, and then I'm gonna come back and then we'll work the vertical, okay? We'll be right back. Okay, so I'm coming to the end and I have that last chain right there and this one to work into slip stitch and I'm gonna chain one and pull up a loop. So now we have made and cut, but now we have made the little tube, right? It's still inside out, but now what we're gonna do is close these seams up, seams up right here, okay? So I am going to just start from the bottom. Now we should have a loop remaining in the uh, chain two corner from when we skip the loop 
when we were sewing together. So if you can see, right there's my chain two corner and there's my remaining chain. So I'm just going to go right into the back of that, the back loop. There's my other one. So I'm going to go right into the back loop of that one with a slip stitch and then just keep slip stitching across like we have been. Nothing new. There's my slip stitch to finish round three. So I'm going to pull that back, get in there and into the double crochet on that one. And now we're into the chain. All right, so go ahead and just, oh, um, we're going to stay together because of those seams. I want to show you guys how we get past those. Back loop, back loop. Not quite there yet. All right, so double and then into that double now i've got the remaining chain back loop of that one there's the back loop of that one slip stitch into that and now with these uh intersections right here so here's the seam we already worked and we're coming over it that's all we're going to do is just jump straight over it and go into the remaining chain right there and right there, the back loop of that remaining chain. And then we continue around. All right, so now you guys can finish slip stitching all the way around, which we've got these two seams left, and then we'll be back at the beginning. So slip stitch that around, and I will meet you when we get to where we started. Okay, so I've made it back around and I've slip stitched into the last remaining chain and we're just gonna chain one and pull up a loop and cut. Okay. So you guys can go ahead and work that exact same thing around this bottom seam right here. And then when we turn our stocking inside out. This is what it should be looking like. Okay. So I'm going to flip mine back out and I'm going to work the last seam like we just did. So this seam right in here. Okay. We'll be right back. Okay, so I've gotten this all sewn up. I'm, yeah, I do have all these ends to weave in, but I'll do that later. I'm not worried about it right now. All right, so we're going to set this to the side. And now what we're going to do is grab some more of our squares. And we need... Four. We need four of our squares. Okay. So we are going to start with sewing two together. Just slip stitch two up the side, right sides facing. You guys should be able to, by now, <laughs> know where to go and how to work this. The slip stitches anyway. As much as we've slip stitched these already. And 
into the doubles. Into the chain. Doubles. Last double. And last chain. And I'm going to chain one and pull up a loop. And we're going to cut that. Oop. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to sew another one on to this side. Right side's facing. Now just slip stitch this one on there. Okay, so we got a slip knot there, so I'm just going to slide that back, go into that back loop. Right now I'm into the chain. Doubles. Chain. Back to the doubles, last double, and last chain. All right, chain one, pull up a loop, and cut. Unfold that. All right, so th this last one that we just made is going to be folded in half. This one is going to be folded more diagonally. Well, yeah. Like that. Okay, so now lay out our three. We are going to sew one more to our line here. slip knot on our hook. I have a very long tail with this one. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to lay that over and I'm just going to slip stitch this one up. Okay. Slip knot, scooch up back, get in there and there into that chain, back to the doubles, last double, chain, double. Last double and chain. Chain one, pull up a loop and snip. Okay, so there is our four in a row. What we're going to do is fold this where like here's one two three four fold it so two is folded in half and one is right under number three and then we have four and four is going to get folded like that in half so this is what that's going to look like so we have one, two, threes on top of one, and four. We're just going to go, boop, fold that right in half. So what we need to do is 
flip this over and we need to sew from here down to right like there. So this is the only seam. This is the only seam right there. So I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna hold that, flip it inside out. Crap. I need to get that back to the way it was. I got lost. Fold that in half. From here in here. All right. Flip it out. Here to here. Okay, so this is what it should look like. That when we're going to sew right up this side. So I'm going to go ahead and get the slip knot on my hook. And I'm going to attach into the chain for this side. And then on this one, the same chain. Flip this over and slip stitch. And now I'm going to stitch for stitch, slip, slip stitch up the side. into the chain, into that chain. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up a loop and I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna double check to make sure I'm doing this right. I'm sewing up the right side. So here is one, two, three, and four is folded in half, perfect. All right, flip that back out. Finish slip stitching this up. Right to that corner. There we go. Line up my corners so I don't lose them. Last double crochet and last chain. Oops, I forgot to go through the other side. And chain one, pull up the loop and cut. Okay, pull that out, and we're gonna unfold. So basically, this is the shape we should have. Just like that. So here's one, two, three, and then four is folded in half. Okay, so then what we'll whenever we're ready, we're not ready for it yet, but when we attach the first part, we're gonna sew it on right like that. And there's the top of the little, the boot portion of it. So the only thing we have left is this lower, lower half. See? All right, it's coming together. Let's set all this to the side. We have three squares left. And all we're gonna do is just sew them in a line just like this. Slip knot on my hook. Okay, so I'm just going to flip one over, 
grab the seam and start slip stitching into the chain that goes for this side and the next a little bit of a slip stitch right there oops and there chain That one didn't want to go. All right, last chain and last chain. Chain one, pull up loop and cut. Unfold. Take your next square with the double crochets facing up on each. Flip it over and slip stitch this side up just like we did. So you guys can go ahead and I'm going to let you do that off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so we have we have our three squares sewn together here. Now this is the bottom portion. Okay, so what we're going to do now to close up this uh, bottom port, part of our foot is we have one, two, three. So one is going to get folded completely in half. So it's setting like this. So bottom left is going to get folded to the top right. So right like this. Fold that in half. Okay. So that's one, two, three. Now three is going to come back and go right along the seam of that fold from the square one. Okay. So here to here. So we're making this shape again. And it's going to lay like this. Right along like that. Okay, so I'm going to fold that again. Number one, bring the left lower corner up to the right upper corner and fold that in half. Now bring the third square to the back to meet that. And I want you to hold on to that because like I have a hold of it right here and then up here I'm holding on to it with my pointer finger and my uh, index finger and I'm going to flip it inside out. Still holding on to those two corners that we're getting ready to slip uh, slip stitch closed here to here. So I'm going to hold that, get it to stand up so it stays up straight. Right there's where we're going to sew it together. All right, get a slip knot on your hook, and we're going to go into that chain that's for this side and on this one to the back loops only still. All right, now we're going to slip stitch down it just like every other block we've done. I'm into that chain. Oh, oh, no wonder. It's a slip stitch. I couldn't figure out what that was. All right, now slip stitch into this, into the last double, 
and then into the chain that is for this side of the square. Chain one, pull up a loop, and then cut. Okay, so we're going to unfold it, or I mean fold it inside out, and then we're going to lay it. So the other one went like that, but this one is going to go like this. Right like that. Okay, so flip that back out like we had that. And now what we're going to do is sew up this little seam at the bottom. And what that is, is all we're doing is closing up um, the bottom of the stocking. Okay, more yarn. <laughs> we are going to have a lot of ends to weave in. All right, I'm going to go into the remaining chain. Into this one. Slip stitch and just start going. Into that chain and that one. Back loop of the chain, I should say. back loop of that chain and that chain last doubles oops and last chain chain one pull up a loop and cut all right there is the bottom of our stocking. So you can see it's this portion right here that we just made. Okay, so now we can assemble or we can weave an end. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start with assembling and I'll worry about weaving in all those ends later. So basically what we need to do now is start with all of our pieces turned uh, inside out. So the wrong side of the double crochets are facing us. So I have my long tube and then here is the this one so we have one two three four squares I'm gonna turn that inside out just like that and that is gonna get attached this this opening right here is gonna get attached to the opening here and we're gonna start by lining up the seam of the tube and of the top of the boot portion. So I got a slip knot on my hook and I'm just going to start by holding, I'm pinching the seam that I'm going to start in and I'm going to go into the remaining chain on this side and the remaining chain on that side and just start slip stitching stitch for stitch. It's going to be a little bit of a pain because we're going to have to finagle everything, but thankfully it's not that long. There's my chain and chain. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and work this all the way around off camera, okay? And I'll be right back. 
Okay, I've made it back around. I slip stitch into the last uh, remaining loops and I'm going to chain one and pull up a loop. There were, I should have said the remaining loops of the chain and pull that tight. Now there's going to be a little bit of a hole here, but we're going to take care of that when we weave in these ends. We'll sew that shut. All right, let's see how it looks. It looks good. Get all those tails in there. Great. So now we just got to attach the bottom portion. Okay, so I'm going to flip this back right, uh, was it inside out? Flip back inside out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my two pieces flipped inside out. Got all these tails everywhere. All right, so here's the bottom of the boot and here's the top portion. Now, the bottom portion with the, not the folded, but the, um, I'm going to say straight, we are going to line up with the point of this portion so right like that and then we're going to slip stitch now we are going to have to just give it a little bit of a tug to reach straight across okay so i'm going to get slip knot on my hook and i'm going to go ahead and go into the chain for this side of the square the back loop and the same one on this square, that back loop right there. Slip stitch and then slip stitch, stitch for stitch. And I'm going to follow that stitch for stitch just not, not necessarily the best I can, but you know, I, I'm going to keep pulling this because this corner needs to come to the chain one on the folded piece on the back. So right like that. So it's not necessarily going to be stitch for stitch all the way across like we're going to like. Actually, I'm going to put a stitch marker through this chain one and through the chain two corner. There. Now that's kind of holding it right where I need it to go. So I'm going to, the best I can, evenly space out slip stitches, back loop only still, down the seam. So I'm just trying to keep it as straight as I can. I'm skipping a chain on that side, skipping a double crochet on that side. Stop and check. How's it going? Go into that. Basically, it's it's kind of going to be your your own judgment on how to do this the best. Up and see how it's looking. It's looking good. It's nice and straight. So the only portion of this that's going to be lined up pretty well is the chain one on the upper boot portion and the chain two corner on the lower portion. That's what's gonna be lined up right there. Okay, I'm gonna keep checking along here. Get 
that tail out of the way. Okay, now I'm going to kind of rotate, still keeping the chain spaces lined up. I had to skip some on the top. All right, now I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to flip it. I'm going to open up this bag. Well, let's see. Get some of these tails out of the way. And now what we're going to do is follow that same concept on this side. Just evenly spacing them out as I go. Making it look nice and neat. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go into these chains. Not the chain spaces, the chains. Okay, now I'm going to stop, pull that up a little bit, and I'm, I think I've made that, make the, the round on the back of the heel pretty good. So now I'm going to come, and I'm going to line this up the best I can. I'm going to use that stitch marker wherever I want there. And I'm going to line up this chain one space with the chain one space right across from it. And that is how I'm going to keep this seam straight. Right like that. And now I'm going to use that as a guide to how these need to be going. So it looks like I need to skip a few on this side. That's okay. That chain. Skip over that intersection. Still staying pretty nice. Okay, coming up to that slitch, stitch marker. I'm going to take that out and I am just going to slip stitch to the beginning. As best I can to get this seam nice and straight. So from here to right here. I'm just going to go where I can get my hook and where it looks like it's not going to knock it off whack too much. And if you need to work two slip stitches, slip stitches into one, it's not going to hurt anything. And I'm 
just going to get one in there where I can. I don't know what I'm working into. Just going in there. Chain one, pull up a loop, and cut. And we stitched it all together. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to flip it inside out. And see what we got. Get it laid out right. What I'm doing right now is trying to make sure that we have the solid block on this side and the folded block on this side. Get that toe poked out. And there we go. <laughs> it's not too bad. I like it. It looks good. Okay, guys. That's it. Oh, no, it's not. I'm sorry. <laughs> what I meant to say was that's it for sewing it together. So you can sew in your ends if you choose to, but what we are going to do is work this top portion right here, okay? So you can get your ends weaved in, admire how pretty it looks. <laughs> All right, so... Get your ends weaved in, come back, and we are going to work this top portion. So, okay, to work this top portion, I'm going to start with my red. Get a slip knot on my hook. And I'm just going to go straight into a double crochet with a slip stitch, chain one. And I'm going to work a double into each, or I'm sorry, a single into each of the double. A double into the chain, a single into the chain, and then a single into each double. Into the side, into the double. And I'm going to do the same thing as we have been. I'm going to go into the remaining chain because the other chain's been used. Come over into this remaining chain and then into my doubles. Single into that chain, into the double, 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 into that chain, come up across to the next remaining chain, into that double, double. I, I'm uh, going through both loops of the doubles and then into the chains. I'm just, you know, working into them like I normally would if you were working into a chain. Come over to that chain and I got one double left. Okay. So now I'm going to do one more round of red. So I'm just, and I'm not going to slip stitch to the first. I'm just going to single crochet into the first and mark that with a stitch marker and then single crochet all the way around. So single crochet all the way around again, and I'll meet you when we get back to the marker. Okay. I've made it back to that stitch marker. So now I'm going to remove that slip stitch to that stitch chain one and pull up a loop and we're going to cut. Now we are going to go to white and we're going to attach right back into that single crochet. 
that we just slip stitched into. So get a slip knot on your hook, go right back into that same single with the slip stitch, chain one, and single right back in there. And then just single crochet all the way around. Okay, so single crochet all the way around and I'll meet you when we get back to the beginning. Okay, so I've come back to that very first single crochet and I'm just going to single crochet right into it. And now I'm going to mark that single I just made so I don't lose that that's the very first single. And then I'm going to work another round, single crocheting all the way around. All right, so go ahead and single crochet up to the stitch marker and I'll meet you there. Okay, so I made it back around to that stitch marker, and now I'm just going to slip stitch, chain one, pull up a loop, and cut. Now we're going to do two rounds of green. So I'm going to get a slip knot on my hook with the green. I'm going to go right back in where we slip stitched with a slip stitch, chain one, and a single and now just single crochet into each single all the way around and I'll meet you when we get back to the beginning okay so I've made it back to that first green so I'm gonna single crochet right into that green mark that so I don't lose my spot and just single crochet around just like we have been. Alright, go ahead and single crochet around and I will meet you to when we get to the stitch marker. Okay, I've single crocheted into my very last single before the stitch marker. So now we are just going to slip stitch right into that single chain one, pull up a loop, and we are done with the top border. So now, weave in these ends, and we're going to add a little, little hanging piece right there. So what we're going to do is find the back right here. So follow that seam of the folded block straight up, and I, that's where we're going to attach a long strand of red, a long strand of green, and a long strand of white. Pull, I'd say go hand to hand, like hold your hands out real wide. So I'd say mine's about three and a half feet maybe. And then we're gonna take all three strands. And we're gonna get a slip knot. And then following that seam up, I'm going to come in with my hook about right at the top of the red, the second round of red. And I'm going to pull through. like that. Now I'm going to pull it until the little knot we just made comes through there. All of that. Tighten up that slip knot. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in right above there and I'm going to pull these tails through. Darn it. Right above there. And I just want to get these tails through here, through this hole. There we go. Okay, now pull all that length you got. Okay, now we're going to just start chaining with all three of the 
strands. I don't know why this is so hard to keep on camera because it just slowly starts, you know, coming on my way. It's like, ugh. All right, now I'm just going to continue chaining. Let's see, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. I think that makes a good length of a loop to hang the stocking, just like that. All right, so now what I'm going to do, tighten up that first chain down there, and I'm going to come down, I'm going to insert my hook right into where we came in and grabbed those loops, and then come back in. I'm going to grab all three of these, pull through here, pull through here, and then I'm going to work a slip stitch. And pull all the remaining length I have left. Pull that tight. Okay, and there is our little hanger. So I'm going to cut this and then weave in all these ends. Okay guys, that's it. That is our stocking. Let me get this. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial for this little stocking. It was a lot of work, a little more than I anticipated when, you know, I didn't think it would be quite that much, but it's adorable. So thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Check out the description box. I got links to my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all, ow, all that fun stuff. Um, uh, there's going to be links to uh, my Etsy shop. I just lost my train of thought. Sorry, guys. There will be links to all kinds of stuff down there in the description box. And subscribe if you haven't. Hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.